Why did I do that? It's easier if I just sit. He can take hits. He's got 15,000 health. His Baryonyx only doing 45 damage a hit. And it looks... Is it already running from Torpor? Alrighty, guys. So welcome back to Ark, where today... I'm getting back on track, all right? We're going, we're getting us a Baryonyx so I can go do the next cave for the artifact for the Broodmother. And yeah, and while we're doing that, I'll explain basically what I've been doing here a little off screen. So starting off, I, again, I've gotten my uh, Rhino Nanthia here imprinted. Luckily, the Cryopod glitch was still working, so I was mostly just walking him and I got 100% with my settings, so anyways. And also in the process of leveling him, I managed to get myself nearly max level. So we're, we're nearly there. All right. Max before we do any, uh, you know, alpha overseers or get any ascensions, you know. But uh, this was the only Baryonyx on the map as well, which I wish I could have got a 150. But unfortunately, I don't feel like doing a bunch of culling either to get a 150. So, what we're going to do is essentially this. We're going to take out all the... I forgot, like, sometimes in first person, especially on flyers, it gets nauseating if you try and bite. Oh, this is a 115 Stego. Too bad you were about to die. I'm going to just chomp it here. Uh, I've already went and got me fish meat, and I got some extraordinary kibble I can use here on the... Baryonyx, but in terms of kibble farm, I need to figure out how to properly produce uh, produce me some fertilizer, because otherwise I can't just keep on slamming poop in there. I need some good stuff, so that way it lasts a long, lot longer. Okay, so there's only one obvious way to start this, and that would be up here on the cliff. And is that Baryonyx, like, completely white? It is. It is nice. Got a headshot. Where are you going, Baryonyx? Oh, I can just do this on the back? Perfect. If I can just do this on the back of him, this is going to be perfect. Ah, dang it, I missed. Alright, I need to, like, actually learn how to properly shoot a gun. Why did I do that? It's easier if I just sit. He can take hits. He's got 15,000 health. His Baryonyx only doing 45 damage a hit. And it looks... Is it already running from Torpor? I hope. It is! Oh, it was! Alright, now it's out. I've knocked it out. Okay. So... Now here comes the long part. <laughs> the waiting game. Um, but while we do that, do I have any other Baryonyx on the map? Any at all that would be a decent level? We can look. Level 90. Here's the thing. for I'd have to get a male if I really wanted to try for that. Hmm. I got nothing. There is nothing but this 145 that is worth worthy of taming. Uh, that probably wouldn't be a bad pair if you're just starting out. Honestly, a 145 and I'm just using it for a cave. So... This is not bad at all. I'm gonna I'm just be honest with you there. So I don't need to get a breeding pair at all, here at all. That was something I, I kind of went a little overboard there with the uh, saber tooth, but I'm glad we did it because we got battle cat. All right, all right that man, that cat, mm, it has helped me so many times now. Okay, oh no, not favorite. Uh, that so that way you pop up on my map. Hey, now I'm just gonna kind of like chill up here. Luckily, uh, I kind of have everything I need on me already to wait. Uh, and yeah, we will get back to you when it's time to feed. 
Alrighty, I saw this guy. I wanted to just get a little closer so I could check him out. What's your level? Level 10, jeez. Why are, why are all the Quetzals level 10? I feel like every single one I have seen has been. I thought you would be good because you got the red and pink. But anyways, our Baryonyx is really close here to being ready to be fed. I'm kind of going to just go for it now because I'm tired of waiting, honestly. So I got me my fish meat. I'm going to throw that on him first. And then we'll throw the fish meat on. I'm just hoping that this is enough. So. Oh. Did you even need the fish meat? No, you didn't. You tamed in too. Perfect. Here, you can get in the cryopod. <laughs> you don't. Oh, you look actually really good. You're not white, but you kind of, it's like this pinkish. It's like a cream, I guess. You're kind of a cream color with a yellow and green. Yeah. You're an Easter egg. How about that? And we are back here at the base now. Perfect. So, what I want to do here is I'm going to drop the Baryonyx off, kind of. I need to see what I need for a saddle. So, very... I should have all that here in the smithy, right? This is the wrong smithy. Alright, you got all that? I'm short on the metal, but that should be easily fixed. I, I always got everything I need. Every, just every time I check. Alright. Very on it. I'm short on fiber. Dang it. Oh no. Don't be doing this to me. I don't I don't have any fiber. What? Wait, seriously? I already checked that one. I don't have fiber. Okay, problem solved. I could break out one of the Therizinos. But luckily, now we got you saddled. Uh, I need to level you now, though. That's the thing. I can also throw all these berries. At first, I tried to just jump down and get fiber. Then that wasn't working. I was like, alright, we're getting a fairy. So, I need to level you. But one thing I want to do before I end the episode is this. I have had this going here for a little bit. Yes. It's not a lot. Not a whole lot. Not at all. But it is enough for us to at least go play with it. So we can at least go load up the Rhino Neanthia here real quick. We'll come back to the Baryonyx. Or I will. I'm going to do that a little off screen here is the leveling. Because that's just time consuming. But we got that. That should slowly convert in his inventory over to his ammo. So sap should turn into resin is perfect let's go you know what? why not let's go check this purple drop we're gonna let that slowly convert over in his inventory and then we're gonna go have a little fun with it i'm not joking it was just rocks it was metal and obsidian there was literally just rocks in there all righty so i've just been flying out here around the swamp and i'm pretty sure i just found my uh, my rhino nanthia from the last episode Is that the 150 it is. Alright, so she's still around. So that means I can still technically use her if I need to. That's not the one I needed. I just wanted to check, make sure she's still alive. That's your imprint. She's dead. You didn't get any mutations, but you didn't get one of her colors, that's for sure. You didn't get the green shell. You got a black shell. I'm wondering if that's... That was probably from the Utah. That's a care. I think they can steal colors, maybe. I hope they can. Alrighty, so I finally found something I'm going to test on. Just mostly because I can't find anything else. So, if I'm correctly... That's Resident Armors Control C. That just... Ooh, that actually looks a lot better than... That stuff look Alright, like it actually looks we different than it does in uh, Evolved. So that actually looks really good. Um, fire resin is right click. Okay. Oh, it was just a level 10. Oh, that's awesome, though. Okay, uh, what do I do here to swap? Carry control left click. Okay, uh, melee. 
How do I cycle that ammo? Toggle resin ammo, control right click. So a glob. Oh, this is the missile. I think I have to... And it tracks on, right? Yeah. Okay, then it's boom, and then we got one of these. And then I'm pretty sure we're out here. Yeah. But, yeah, that's nice. I, I'm legit going to have to make a whole lot more of taps just to get any sort of progress or any sort of ammo for this guy. I might have to make another... I've been thinking about this. I might have to make another tree platform. Or I might have to make another base to store dinos at. Because I don't think the farm's working properly inside the treehouse. I honestly feel like the farm's not working. I might actually have to go build a designated farm base at some point. But anyways, guys, if you guys have liked the video today, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, I am currently doing a sub goal and a membership goal. So my sub goal is currently 10,000. I have no clue what I'm going to do once I hit the sub goal of 10,000 at all. But for the membership goal, it's currently 10. So if we are able to get 10 members for the YouTube channel, I will be opening up an ARC server for y'all to hop on and play. So anyways... This has been Gunshy Mori, signing off. Peace.